Hey, it's Guy DiMartino in Northwest Indiana, estate planning and probate lawyer. The other day I received a phone call from somebody whose uh, loved one had passed away and they were named personal representative in the will and they wanted to know if they needed to hire me or to hire a lawyer to go through the probate process. The simple answer is no. You don't have to hire a lawyer to go through the probate process, but you have to be aware that there are a number of hoops that need to be jumped through in order to get the process done and complete. For instance, the first thing you have to do is you have to file a petition with the court to go ahead and accept the will and then name the personal representative. Then you have to give a notice to creditors within a certain amount of time. And you have to publish this notice within uh, the newspaper. So that gives notice to the world that there is an estate pending. Then you have to go out and you have to inventory all the potential assets, personal property and real property, of the decedent. You have to gather all the stuff that would be probatable assets and you have to provide this information to the beneficiary or heirs so they know what stuff is contained within the estate. Then there might be claims that are filed against the estate by creditors of the person who passed away. And so then as the personal representative, you're going to have to either accept the claim or object to the claim that is filed within a certain amount of time. And you might have to either negotiate the claim or fight the claim saying that uh, they're not entitled to whatever monies they are seeking from the estate. Then you have to go through and do some other types of work during this period of time and then when it comes time to disperse funds you have to disperse funds to the creditors to the heirs you might have to sell property you might have to convert stocks you might have to go ahead and do all the stuff that the will tells you that needs to be done and then finally you will have to do an accounting to the heirs or beneficiaries as to what assets the estate was able to capture, what the distributions were, what was paid, what were the expenses, and the distribution of monies that would be given to the potential heirs or beneficiaries. And then once they receive this accounting, they will have a chance to either accept it or object to it or make a claim against the accounting saying that something was not done right or according to the terms of the will. Once the heirs or beneficiaries accept your accounting, then you'll file a petition with the court to be able to close the estate. If it is a simple estate, and uh, there's not a lot of creditors and there's not a lot of wrangling between folks. A lot of times the estate can be wrapped up in around a year. But if you have to sell a lot of personal property, if you have to sell a lot of real property, if there's a lot of stuff all over the country that might have to be dealt with, sometimes these estates can go ahead and be open for a number of years, especially if somebody is going to be challenging and there might be litigation. So the simple answer is if you're able to follow the rules and read the rules in the probate code and do what's expected of you, you don't need a lawyer as the personal representative to file the probate and go through the probate process. However, there can be a number of traps and you as the personal representative might not want to be on the downside if somebody comes after you personally because you did not either give them notice or you didn't do something correctly in administering the estate. If you have any questions about a Northwest Indiana estate matter, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.